NHL 24 just dropped and there has been so much confusion with the new controls. I spent the last week playing on nothing but total control so I can give you guys all of the secrets and tips and tricks that you need to know. I'm going to toss both Xbox and PlayStation controllers in the corner so you can see exactly how we do these moves. We're going to start by quickly flying through the basics and then we'll get into more of the advanced moves and the different variations that you can do with these new controls. If you guys have played on skill stick controls in the past, the control have remained largely the same this year we'll quickly walk through them rt is going to be your pass button rb is going to be your sauce button you're going to deke and have different variations of deeks with the lb button and then lastly lt is going to be your vision control so the backward skating now that that's out of the way let's talk about the changes from skill stick to total control the main difference being the face buttons so each of these face buttons x y a and b on xbox have now been assigned a deke the most controversial of course being the Michigan, which is now just a tap of the Y button, and it is so easy to pull off. You can literally hit it every single time. All you're gonna do is hop behind the net, tap Y, let go, and then you got it. I mean, it really is that easy. We'll start basic and then get into all the different details and the variations of each of these buttons that you can do. So with the Michigan, there's gonna be a few different ones you can do. If you're on a breakaway and try the same thing, it's gonna do that throwing animation. Walk in, chuck it towards the net, see what happens. That one goes top left. Like you can do some sick stuff. If you wanna do the throw or pass behind the net, you're gonna do the same thing. Just come behind the net, hold Y, and then you're gonna tap the RB button and that's going to initiate the throw. So if you wanna be like Trevor Zegers and chuck it behind the net, hold Y, tap RB, it's that easy. I find the pass works best when you can sit still behind the net. So if you want that perfect toss, that's the best way to do it. Throws it out in front and then we can bury it. If the defense is in a good spot when you come behind the net, you can cancel this Michigan by tapping LB. That's just gonna let you instantly get out of it. So if you're starting to be too predictable, the defense picks up on it. You don't have to commit to that Michigan every time. You can quickly cancel it and then score your goals. What is the goalie doing? New to NHL 24, they also added a forehand Michigan. This one is very tough to score, but you can still pull it off every time. So same thing, come around the opposite side and it's gonna wrap it around that forehand side. Next, we'll go to the B button or the circle button on PlayStation that is going to be your between the legs modifier. So if you want to do a between the legs shot, you simply come on on net, tap the B button, and boom, you get your between the legs shot. Can do it from any angle, backhand, forehand, it doesn't really matter. The shot's going to be perfect and on net almost every single time, except that time. I was seeing a lot of questions about this. Yes, you can still do the passes. So you're just gonna hold down the B button and then tap RT to pass the puck. And you can use that left analog stick to point it in which direction you wanna go. Now you can also do a sauce with that as well. So if you wanna get a little bit of sauce on it, you can. Same thing, hold down B, tap RB, and that thing goes fine. All these moves and how you cancel them will be the same as well. So if you go between the legs, you can cancel it back, do the fake between the legs. That's my go-to shootout move. Works really well against user goalies and you can just walk in, fire that backhand right away. Next up, we'll move to the A button. You can do this on players or goalies. This is going to be your one-hander move. So again, all of these have been super simplified. It's just one tap of the button. If you take it over to this side and try it, it's going to do a forehand variation and we can bury it on that left side. So backhand, forehand, same button. You're just gonna tap A and it'll automatically pick which one's best for you. If you are used to skill stick and already have that one-hander muscle memory, the old way to do it does work as well. This is not true with all the moves. I'll mention it when it does, but if you wanna go through and score it the old way, you can hit LBRB and it'll do the same thing. Next is the X button or square on PlayStation and that is going to be your Datsuk and your Datsuk variations. So you can do the flip, you can do the cancel. This could be just a big toe drag. There's a few different things you can do. You're just gonna hold X to initiate it, let go to shoot it. You can shoot right into bar downs like that. Or if you want to get tricky with it, you, same thing. You're just going to hold X and then tap the RB button. And that is going to initiate the Datsuk flip. Now, you can actually flip this to yourself. Like if you want to do a little self flip, you can do that. Or you can walk in, go towards the net, hold the X button, flip it up in the air and try to get it over their shoulder. Now, this is where things start to get a little bit interesting. So with the old skill stick, you would initiate the Datsuk by clicking in on the right analog stick and pulling back. Well, here at NHL 24, and you're going to do this on accident a lot. Now, clicking in on the right analog stick is a reverse hit. So if you hold your controller a little too tight, I probably do this four or five times a game, you're going to initiate 
that accidental reverse hit. I still think this is one of the worst moves that EA made with this new controller scheme because it just happens on accident. Like, I can't explain it. I don't know why it does, but you'll just be going to make a pass or going to make a move and accidentally click in on that analog stick. However, if you want that to not happen, you can actually hold LB, click in, and that's going to be a leg fake. So you can still do that leg fake, the fake shot. And then with that, you can also do the Datsuk out of it. So if you want to do it a little bit quicker without having to take your hands off the analog stick, you can do that. So you can just walk in L, boom, and then take your shots just like that. For this move in particular, I have found it better to do it the old way just because you can fake it easier, walk right in here, and then go towards the net. It's good for beating defenders. It's kind of a fake for them and for the goaltender as well. And then even with that, you can still do the Datsu flip the old way as well. So if you want to flip it on the net, tap RB while you're in that deep toe drag, and that'll still work. Now, you can still do the old chip deeks. I feel like a lot of people just have like forgotten about these. It's going to be LB, and then RT is going to be that chip. Just a nice quick move to flip it off the glass or take it into the zone. The spin move is still the same, so you can just tap LT and it's going to pick a direction for you. Or if you want to manually control it, you can hold LT and then spin that right analog stick. That'll uh, determine which direction that you go. Pretty useful move, especially towards the goal line. I've been seeing a lot of people, you do like a spin like this, take it towards the net, and you can fire that far side. Now, this right here is the most confusing thing with the new controls. So the old protect button used to be on A, and as we now know, A is your one-hander button. So that is not going to be how you protect the puck. There's a new way to do it, and you use the hustle button, which is clicking in on the left analog stick. That's just going to give you a little bit of extra speed. Now, to protect the puck with the hustle, you're going to hold in on the left analog stick while holding the puck out on your forehand or backhand. I know that this, feel, this feels super awkward. There's no denying it. All right, but as you can see, this is how you do it. It's kind of a different animation as well. McDavid looking a little bit odd, but he'll have one hand on on his stick, hold it to the inside, and he can keep pucks away from the defenders. Initiating this in games does just feel a little bit awkward, and with the analog stick, like, you'll accidentally reverse hit like that. So you just have to be careful, not hold it too tight. But uh, yes, this is going to be the new protect puck. Definitely not as useful as it used to be. I thought about not mentioning this because it's a glitch, but hey, you guys came here for the secrets. EA needs to fix this. There's a glitch. If you want to force a slap shot towards the net in any direction, you can wind up a slap shot, hold RB, and your guy's going to do a really weird animation. I've already seen a couple of these goals go in in ESHL. It's up. Uh, super wonky but hey you guys came here for secrets there you go hold rb you can get some weird slap shots from any angle i think that covers everything you need to know about offense now let's get into defense and most importantly the hitting so hitting has changed a lot from nhl 23 to nhl 24 a lot of people hop on the game for the first time and they think that this is just completely broken and the hitting doesn't work well no there's a new way to do it i actually really like the hitting once you get used to it i think this is a much better system so if you try to hit like you did in nhl 23 by just flicking up on the analog sticks it's just going to be this light little bump and if you try to flick left or right like if you're aiming your hits that is not going to work at all there's essentially two different kinds of hits that you can make and the left analog stick is going to be how you aim your hit the right analog stick either up or down is going to be the power behind the hit so if you want to just lightly shove someone you're going to aim in their direction boom just shove up on the analog stick you can see they kind of put their arms into the air it's a little bit of a cross check and they'll just give their opponent a light little shove. But if you want to wind up that big hit, you're going to pull back on the right analog stick and then explode forward. And as you can see, we actually get a little bit of power on our hit. And if you want to aim your hit, you can do those back hits like that. You're going to use the left analog stick. So say I want to aim this one forward. Boom, we pop that forward. If we want to go down, boom, we'll do the same. I'll toss some one-on-ones on the screen so you can see how and when you would use these hits. The biggest thing to be careful of is missing the big hit. If you miss the big hit, they're just going to fly by you and have a free chance on the net. To make things even more confusing, if you don't want to use the analog stick, you can actually just hit the B button and that's automatically going to do that bigger hit. So sometimes, depending on the situation, if you want a little bit more control, you can use the analog stick. If you just want to automate it and just boom, aim with the left, hit with B, that's a little bit easier. And the absolute best hitting feature is the hip check. So if you hold down the X button, you're going to get down into that squat position. That's going to be the hip check. And I'm telling you right now, this is going to send people absolutely flying. This is the best hit in the game. So in summary, aim with the left stick, tap up to do the shove, and then do a slap shot motion if you want those bigger hits. Other than that, defensively, everything has remained the same. RB is going to be your defensive skill stick. So this is how you poke check. LB is going to be your 
block shot or if you want to cover that pass across the middle and then you can still do a puck chop as well by clicking in on the right analog stick and then swiping in the direction that you want to go now let's talk about dumping the puck out of the zone because this has changed as well if you try to do it like you did last year the puck is going to go absolutely nowhere like look at that flip that's because the old controls of the right analog stick and rb are now how you get the puck off the glass so if you want to do a high chip off the glass you're going to aim in the direction hold the puck to the forehand tap it off the boards with rb and then you can continue up the ice you could do this both forehand and backhand and depending on how long you hold rb that's how high the puck is going to go in the air to clear the puck the length of the ice you're actually going to hold rt now and flick up and that's going to get you the high and out flip I don't know why they made this change and so many people are confused by it but yes you can still do the normal dump as you can see that one goes the length of the ice and same as the glass flip you can do that on both the forehand and backhand side last but not least let's talk line changes and strategies used to change with the b and x buttons well that has now been changed to the d pad since the b and x buttons are being used for deeks so if you want to change your lines clicking left on the d pad is going to cycle through your defense clicking right on the d pad is going to cycle through your offense Clicking left and right on the D-pads will change your lines, and then you can then click LB and RB to change your strategies while on that line change menu. Clicking up on the D-pad will change your four checking strategies, and clicking down on the D-pad will allow you to change your breakout strategies. That is going to cover all of the major changes from the skill stick controls to the new total controls. After playing on these controls for about a week, I think I've decided that these are the controls that I'm going to go with. I think there's just too much of an advantage especially on defense with the hip check and the big check button that this might be the way to go now don't get me wrong there are things that i absolutely hate about these controls there is no denying it the reverse hit with the right analog stick i would go as far to say as this is something that has to be changed it just it happens too much it's too annoying and you'll see even if you're paying attention your opponent is going to do it a few times in each game as well when jumping from skill stick to total controls on offense, really not much has changed. You can still ultimately play the game just like you would with skill stick. You just have the added control and the ease of pulling off the Michigan with one button, which in its current state might be worth it in and of itself. Like for real, they're going to have to tone down this Michigan. It's, it's just too easy. But well, you guys have got to let me know. Are you using the new controls for NHL 24? Do you like them? Do you hate them? Are you somewhere in the middle like myself? Anyways, I hope you found this video in some way. There's just so many tiny things that EA changed that I think this video will hopefully help some people out and just give them an idea of how to do some basic things that they used to be able to do in the past. If you did find it helpful, hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. Also, hit subscribe. We're on the road to 1 million subscribers and much more NHL 24 content on the way. That's it for me. I'll see you guys next time next time and peace.